We, we live in a very consumer society and we're used to just, you know, getting everything very fast. Everything, food, fashion, that goes for chocolate as well. We just grab something, we don't think where it comes from. Uh, but throughout the process of me making the movie, it has changed my whole perspective. I'm Tanya Chuturkova, originally from Bulgaria, Sofia, Bulgaria. Uh, now based in New York for the last 10 years. My name is Kim Wang. I actually started my career like 30 years ago in camera. From there I became a colorist and then became a digital special effect artist. I was uh, producing and directing different commercials, uh, live shows, uh, TV programs, realities. Documentary filmmaking was never in the plan for me. It's kind of happened. Out of the blue, a Japanese producer just found some of my work online, called me and said, hey, I want to make a documentary, are you in? I thought, oh, this is going to be easy, chocolate, I love chocolate. And then it turned out to be a whole different story. Tanya got into it and then she came to me, she said, I need you to help uh, produce this, kind of as a co-producer with it. So getting all the crew, the equipment, the right things going on. Once we went from that first trip we took to Peru and we just saw the plantations, the whole crew was just mind blown because we, we realized we have no idea that it took all of this to make chocolate. There's been a lot of movies made about chocolate and usually it focuses, I feel, like in the wrong thing because there is a lot of problems in the chocolate production industry and most documentaries always focus on that. They either focus on that or they focus on the glamour part of it, which is the chocolatiers. We realize uh, this movie can actually have so much more to offer by focusing on the positive side of all of this. To show the whole process from the beginning to the end and actually to show that the biggest part of the work is where the farmers are. We shot in Honduras, Peru, Trinidad, Nicaragua, Costa Rica. Every day, it's a new adventure. There was a young chocolatier, local chocolatier from Peru that, you know, was asking Susumu so many questions. Just, he wanted to see how he can make the, you know, they, they had a little tasting session. And Susumu, being from, I mean, of course, very rich and very developed country, was just showing this growing kid ideas of how he can make his chocolates better. That inspiration just passing on to future generations is it's what it's all about. It didn't make that much in the movie, but one great thing that came out of this film is actually one of the farmers, Don Alfonso, uh, a gentleman with a hat, he met with Mikkel and they just started talking. Uh, Mikkel loved the way he uh, produces his cacao and then Don Alfonso loved the way Mikkel is expressing all the things that he needs and like he was so interested and then, oh, you want this? Okay, I can make this. Now there is a Don Alfonso chocolate. It's actually called Don Alfonso, which was amazing that it came out of after this film. In making this film happen, there was a lot of things we had to do. First, you know, narrowing down the idea was a challenge. There were a lot of creative challenges. It's no matter how good a movie you make or how beautiful or what message you have, if nobody gets to see it, it's nothing. Documentary Showcase presents movies that have similar values, which uh, then connects you to the right audience that can and is looking for those values and can appreciate it. So it is very important for us to have this platform. The whole making of this film impacted me a lot because, I mean, it was my first feature film. It was uh, just on so many different levels. You see the not only the creation of chocolate, but also the filmmaking creations. Making this film made me realize that apart from the technical, the editing, the creative part, but the beauty of all this craft chocolate is bringing so much more than just a taste. It's bringing the whole generation of lifestyle and raising people from poverty. I hope Chocolate Road makes people just think and just be more curious. And I think that's why by provoking this curiosity, you make people wonder about a lot of other things. And that really helps people be more happy, more appreciative, more grateful. And by making people be more appreciative, then the world becomes a better place.